Ladies and gentlemen, the requests for Jimmy Herring have been non-stop. Non-stop. I was at the Tedeschi Truck Show on Saturday, and uh, Monty, from Chicago, I believe, he goes, dude, where's the Herring? Where's the widespread panic? I said, dude, it's coming. I, I know who Jimmy Herring is. Sweet Jesus, I know who Jimmy Herring is. And I go in my comments. Derek Trucks is cool, but so is Jimmy Herring. Would love to see some herring. What about Jimmy Herring? Love this. What about what about herring? What about what about herring? Derek's one of the best, but you need to do a Jimmy. You should check out his mentor, Jimmy Herring. Sean Bell. Still no panic. Over and over and over again. So you know what we're gonna do today, ladies and gentlemen? Shocker, Jimmy Herring. But we're not gonna hit a link. No, you guys don't get this one. You're pushing me too hard. We're gonna do it like we used to do it. We're gonna go old school. We're gonna type in youtube.com. I know, I know, I know. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what's happening here. Look, Steve from Boston, he's got a new video. Love Steve. Steve, what's happening, baby? Now we're gonna go, I can't even spell, Jimmy Herring. We're gonna go, 820,000 views. We got a hot one. Jimmy Herring banned. Sorry it's not widespread panic. Please, Lord, forgive me. Matt's Funk. Let's bring this up here. Full screen. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Basic groove here. Funk in F. F7. No. Minor third to major third. So you got your root, flat seven, fifth, and you're hammering on from uh, A flat to A. So that's F7. And that, and that little tag there, that's your major six to your flat seven. So. Love that, super funky. And then there's that walk up, that But it looks like it's, it sounds like D7 sharp nine. So maybe it's. Yeah. No. All right, let's muscle through. But by the way, loving the bass, and the drums especially on this, and the keys, but like the, the drums, I don't know who the drummer is. Um, let's see if it's listed who's in the band here real quick. Matt Tiemann, Jimmy Herringbang, plays Matt Slocum's Funk. I'm assuming Matt Slocum is one of these people. Basil, Jeff Sipe on drums, 85 likes, probably correct. All right, we're gonna go with Jeff Sipe on drums. Onward, onward. Change. 
bass and drums are incredible. Just comping on G7. Another key change. So I'm hearing the bass walk up from E to G, and then like an E7 sharp nine, you know? That's some wild stuff, man. So maybe. Wild, all right, another key change. Here we go, I'm trying not to start and stop too much. Trying, trying. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did we do change keys again? Let's put it in context. All right, so it is E7 sharp nine, I think. And then it goes to B. Um, so not quite functioning, but we're in, we're in B here. It sounds, feels like B7, all right. I'm sorry. Here we go. Jimmy Herring time. We're going to listen for a little bit and then we'll see what we can grab. So he, he's, he's mixing major and minor right away. Major. All those. That's major, pattern three, major. Hot leg. Super major again. Uh, so you got the nine, root, six, flat five. Followed right by minor. To that major six. Yes! Go! Yeah. that Albert King minor blues <laughs> caught a flat five or two in there with the major third so uh 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 hitting that, what makes that lick hard there, well, all of it is hard, is that he's going to this major third. Not, uh, not the fourth, that. Yeah. Five to the sixth. And there's that. 
of the A that flats up. Pedal tones off B major, or B7 rather. Way above my pay grade. But you know, you're, 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 there you go. You, you know, we are in uh, mixo land ish, you know. You have a flat seven, six, uh, five, you know, four, flat three, two, root. So not quite mixo, you know, because you have a major six and a flat three. Hello, hello, Dorian, how are you? You too. I mean, all right, so uh, a, a, an extreme, an extreme commitment to, to uh, mixing major and minor sounds, uh, impossibly fluid, uh, incredible control, dynamic control, tonal control, like actual tone of the guitar. Um, but the key takeaway for me is that, I mean, he is constantly going back and forth between the straight major and then and then minor, I'm sorry, straight minor and then straight major and going back and forth. Mixing in Dorian, he's totally favoring that major six instead of that minor six. Um, but but it's, he makes his major and minor better than anyone that I've heard. Um, and it's so deliberate. It's so clear that it's deliberate. Let's keep going. Love this drummer, man. Dude, that was killer. Dude, the, the, the rhythm section um, is just so on it. The drums, man. Dude, you hear the chops for days, pocket for days, total touch, but you can tell it's just you know, the little pop of the shoulders, just, just effortless for him, just so comfortable. That's a serious band right here. Um, keys, sound outstanding. Uh, bass, uh, pushing around all over the place. Um, just killer groove, killer groove. And Jimmy Herring, man. Great tone, um, but really the, the key thing for me that I, at least in this video, but I can tell just by his style that that's like his, his thing just by watching it, is that commitment to mixing major and minor. Um, a dominant seventh chord is his own backyard. Like that's, that's where he lives, you know? That, that's, that's where he likes to go and play, I'm certain, because uh, over a dominant chord, you got a flat seven, makes you think minor, but you got a major third, makes you think major, right? But as we all know, as blues players, you can play a minor 
uh, pentatonic uh, over that dominant seven. Why? Because the minor third uh, um, creates color in the tonality. The major third creates the chord function. The higher note always wins. So you can play behind it and the minor third, and that gives it that bluesy sound. But mixing back and, uh, back and forth between the two is a real art form. It is really hard to do well. Try it. Throw on, throw on a B7, you know? You know. <laughs> And try. That's hard to do. He does it better than anyone I've ever seen. Um, Jimmy Herring's the man. When I saw him, I can't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video or not. I have no idea. But when I saw him, the first time I saw him, uh, it might be the only time. Anyway, it was at a PRS event here in Maryland. And he was playing at Rams Head in Baltimore with John McLaughlin. Um, and uh, stole the show. Stole the show. Um, easily the loudest, easily the best tone, most tasteful most reserved, but then also hit it in high gear when it was time to go in high gear. Um, and I know who, who John McLaughlin was, you know, or is, but like I knew of him, but I didn't really know of Jimmy until I saw him there. And I was just like, <sighs> yeah, that's a force of nature. And uh, through doing these videos and all these comments, I was like, all right, gotta do a Jimmy Herring, gotta do a Jimmy Herring. Um, so the next one I do will be a panic, because uh, I know you guys have been clamoring for that widespread. Um, but. I'm telling you, mixing the major and minor so tastefully like that over funk, that's, that's the real stuff right there. That's real hard to do right. All you guys that are, you know, intermediate, you know, getting, you know, getting more advanced players, try that. Just try switching. Give yourself a B7. Give yourself a vamp like this. And just be conscious of, I'm doing major for four bars, minor for four bars, major for four bars, minor for four bars and trying to connect little melodic lines. It is hard to do. It is hard to sell. You can't always just go, you know, and just hammer on that major and minor third anytime you get in the neighborhood of the third, right? You have to actually uh, craft little lines that go up to the third and then down to the major and then down to the minor and then up to the major. You gotta figure it out. It's hard to do. Jimmy Harry's the man. Can't wait till I see him again. And there you go. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. Most importantly, thanks for showing me um, links, putting links in the description. As much as I might tease about you guys, you know, pr pressuring me, I love it. I freaking love it. Bring it on, bring the heat. It can be any genre, anything you want. Um, we're in this together. I do these live, I don't pre-learn. Uh, so I never know what I'm gonna get and it's super exciting. So thank you for that. Thank you for your support, and as always, if you like the way I teach, play, or you're just curious about what I teach my students and the courses that I've made, how I view this thing, click the first link in the description and join me over at guitargeek.com. You can subscribe for just 10 bucks, and you get all my courses, all my weekly lessons, everything I do, uh, and you can post videos for me to uh, review and get back to you uh, and share within the community. There you have it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you in the next one.